Welcome back to our senior seminar series where we discuss and share all things senior and the concerns and issues affecting seniors and their families when considering a move to a senior living community. Today, we are going to share five questions for a child of a senior who is possibly considering moving into senior living. If you are a son or daughter with an aging senior or parent that you are considering bringing up this conversation regarding a move, then today's video is for you. Here are five questions to ask yourself and share with a sibling if applicable to get yourself started. The first one is, what is best for your parent? Think about this, is it better for them to stay at home and provide additional care for them in home? Or do you feel that they're needing more of a social setting so that a community might be a good fit because they're just not getting out and they're not being around people and their friends as much as they used to? Really ask yourself, what is best for them? This is a very personal decision, and the only way to make it the most successful one is to really understand what is truly best for the senior. The next one is, who is the primary decision maker? Is it you? Is it a sibling? Is it a friend? Um, or is it still your parent? Um, your parent very well might still be in a situation that they're making the decisions and calling the shots for themselves. Um, it's just important to identify who this person is. The third one is, have you sat down and actually talked with your parents about your concerns? Um, which also leads me into the fourth question, which what is your major concerns? So take a really strong inventory and think about when you're, work, when you're over at your parents' house, what are your major concerns? Is it that you go over there and the house is dirty and it's not being kept clean? Um, is it that you feel that um, they're not eating very healthy um, and so therefore they're not getting the right, they're not eating three meals a day and they're not cooking for themselves? Um, Take these lists of concerns and present, use it as part of that conversation when you sit down with your mom or dad and just bring them up and do it in a very non-threatening, um, very calm way and just share with them, these are my concerns, let, us, let me help you address them. Um, the last question is, lastly, which is always most important, is what are the financial considerations? So what can happen financially? Um, can your parents afford to move into senior living? And if they can, what does that look like? Um, and then if they can't afford it, can you help financially as well? Um, or does it make most sense to stay in the home and you can afford to bring in additional care inside the home as well? Um, or bring in housekeepers, cookers, cleaners. Um, there is a lot of different resources available in that avenue as well. Um, a lot of the seniors that we work with, they um, utilize what is most likely their largest asset, which is their home. Um, and selling that home allows them to have the financial freedom to move to the community that they would like to move to. Um, so that's always another avenue you want to think about also is what does that home sale look like and how much money could come from that to help support this financial decision. So I hope this helped everyone, um, well, especially son or daughters of aging parents or seniors that you're considering this downsizing move um, to possibly a senior living community. Um, check out our website, www.seniorlivingexp.com for a lot more information and resources um, to help all avenues of this, this decision-making process. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you all soon.